Hello everyone, welcome to this Python and SQLite project. So in this uh, project, we'll be discussing how to build a, a Python-based script for uh, uh, inventory management uh, in a warehouse. Okay, so and then that script should run real time without interruption. Let's say you execute it, and then you get to choose like uh, when to close that uh, or terminate that execution. So that's how the script is uh, going to be. So let's get uh, straight into it. So it's structured in such a way that uh, all the major tasks li like updating or viewing a data from database or inserting a data into database are converted into, a f into functions. And then we call that functions uh, whenever we, we want to perform uh, a certain operation. So we start off by importing all the necessary libraries and then uh, we establish connection to a database so and then we set this uh, variable x as one and then we get the current date and time on this uh, now variable so you can actually call this anything you want and then we establish connection to a database if the connection is successful i mean if this returns positive okay then the connection is successful and we print out saying that the connection is successful else we say error connecting to database okay and then uh, so the, the another major thing is uh, we have to create the table so we have to like call the function after defining the function so we define the function there so we call it just below so this is going to create a table for us inside the database my inventory so the table name is going to be uh, store inventory and then we'll have uh, different columns inside the table the starting from product name from so where the item is from then the arrival date arrival time and then location where you put that item inside the inventory so if that is successful so the table we print out saying the table created successfully uh, else we'll catch the error and then we print it out so we call that function here so if you don't have it in your code so you make sure you call this function else you can't uh, do anything so and then we have these different functions like insert select update and then uh, delete so which we call one after another like based on this uh, type of operation that we want to perform and then the next we go straight to this while loop which will execute as long as this x uh, is 1 so we made the x1 above so as long as it's 1 it's going to be executed so and then uh, we are actually printing out saying if you want to perform insert operation or insert data into the database uh, press 1 if you want to view the data press 2 if you want to update the data press 3 if you want to delete the data press 4 if you want to exit the system press uppercase x okay so and then we are getting a user input choose an operation to perform and then we are getting it as an input and then that input goes on to this variable name and then we are checking if name equals 1 so we call insert function if name equals 2 we call uh, select data function so if name equals 3 we call update data function if name equals uh, 4 we call delete data function else if it if if name equals uppercase x so we close the connection to a database then uh, we make our x equal 0 so the code will come out of the loop so now let's go to uh, insert data function so we need three information for this one is the name of the item the second one is the from location of the item and then the third one is location where it's put inside the inventory we get these three as user input from the user and then this one and this one 
is the arrival date and arrival time we get from our uh, now variable that we have created on top this one okay so so our arrival date is going to be in format year month and day and arrival time is going to be in format hour minute and seconds so and then uh, we are creating an sqlite query which is this one saying that we want to insert into the name of the table which is store name and then the columns where we want to insert so which is product name from arrival date arrival time location and inventory and then the values that we want to in, uh, insert are these values okay, you put them all so this should be in same format as what you followed when you like manually typed in to insert the data so this is uh, real time it means we get user input and then uh, we plug it in like a dynamic insertion of the values into sql that queries then we commit to that one if if uh, the above process or steps are successful we'll get uh, a printout saying that uh, uh, data inserted successfully else we will we'll get an error which we are going to print it out then yeah and then um, the, the the second function that we want to discuss is select data so now uh, here if you see OID OID is a default column that has been uh, created every time you create a table in SQLite. So this value will be unique and then uh, it's self incrementing. Okay. So now uh, we are selecting OID product name from on the rest of the columns from store inventory. That's the name of our table. So we'll get those as an uh, array. So let's say you have uh, 10 different items. Um, you get all those 10 items onto this cursor. So you, you iterate through those uh, 10 items one by one. So the first item you will have uh, OID product name from uh, blah, blah, blah. So and then so you actually uh, print them all out. So in the first item you can have uh, row 0 is going to give you OID, row 1 is going to give you product name, so, uh, so on and so forth. And then once it's all done, you're printing out saying it operation done successfully, else you uh, you print out your error. And then you say here is your data, you know, so that you can differentiate. So it's too hard to differentiate like once you execute it and see, okay. So we'll actually see that. Then the, the second uh, step, I mean, the third function is to update. So data function. So before we update, we are actually calling the select data function so that we get to see the data in our database. And then we are saying, so enter the ID, <coughs> ID of the column that we want to update. So the ID will be that unique uh, OID, okay? So which will be printed out above. So we actually, let's say we key in the ID, let's say we want to edit the, the first uh, row of data in our database. So in the first row, we have three information, right? The first one is the product name. The second one is the location, the from location, and third one is the store location. So if, let's say we want to edit uh, the product name, so we enter one, so which will be which will be like caught using this line of code using the input function and then uh, you enter the new value so enter the new value let's say it's from actually from south korea but i mistyped as china so i'm typing it as sk s korea for south korea so i i should actually have to type yes korea whatever new value it is so it will catch that new value and then it's going to update store inventory set product name where 
this is question mark which we have to enter product name equals question mark where row id is question mark so we have to pass these two values as an argument when we like uh, execute the query this is just an sqlite query okay so when we call this con dot execute uh, we pass in the sql uh, query and then uh, these two information this one is this one enter the new the updated value then this one is the the oid that we get here if it is successful it will tell you like the process is successful else not successful and then delete so before we get deleting as usual uh, we call uh, select data function to see the items in our database and then uh, we choose the id that we want to delete so we actually get that as user input and then we are, uh, we are creating an sql query delete from store inventory where oid is the default column that's created equals whatever we got from here so we execute this uh, sqlite query then pass this uh, the question mark as an argument then we commit to it so we could say that the chosen id is uh, successfully deleted so now let's execute this then see how how it all works press f5 so we call that function uh, create table or whatever it is so it is selling as table created successfully so let's say you have already created a table it won't create a new one for you so you don't have to worry now uh, let's uh, view the data in our database okay that's number two press enter so we have all these data in our database you know the id is the default oid which is one then the product name is iphone from china arrival date is this one arrival uh, sorry arrival date is this one this should be arrival time then location in inventory is l1 so so on and so forth so this is i created this like when I was writing this code, so this is uh, a bit earlier, you know, you could see the date. And then this one is actually today. I actually created, added a new value today. Okay, so now we could see the information in the database. So you could actually edit this one in your code. So you just change this to time. So and then the, the second, I mean, the next operation that we want to perform is, let's say we want to uh, do some uh, deleting. Let's go ahead and press 4. So these are all the items in our database. Let's say I want to delete uh, Apo from uh, my uh, database because it has left the store. It's asking me to choose the ID that I want to delete. So the ID of Apo is uh, 6. I press 6 and then press enter. So now the successfully deleted. Now let's uh, go again and view the data in the database. So we no more have uh, Apo in our table. Five, no more six. Okay. Now let's say we want to insert a new item in our database. Go ahead and press one. So enter the name of the item. Let's say it's a webcam. Webcam from location of the item Japan and then uh, I'm going to place it in L2 in my inventory so the data inserted up successfully let's go ahead and view the data 2 for viewing so we could see 11 ID 11 where webcam Japan arrival date and time let's say I it's actually from China but I typed it as uh, Japan so now let me go ahead and update the value so for updating it's number 3 so enter the id that I want to update the id is number 11 so enter I want to change the from location so which is number 2 new value C H I N A. press enter so now it must be updated successfully 
let's go ahead and view the data type 2 press enter we could see here Japan changed to China so we could exit out by pressing uppercase X and press enter so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching this uh, you could buy some more courses from uh, let's code if you want to learn more thanks for watching bye for now